Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are cleaning up my bedroom and starting finally to get ready for baby number four. If you're new to my channel, welcome here. My name is Becky. I am a wife and mom to three little ones, ages six, four, and two. And like I just said, we are expecting baby number four basically any day now. Here on my channel, I share real life, mom life, cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. If you feel like that is something you would enjoy watching, I hope you will stick around and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Let's do this together. The first thing I'm doing is just showing you around my bedroom so you can see how messy it is. Everything was a disaster. There was a lot to get done, but it was really important to me to get everything done because this baby will be here before we know it. I am 38 weeks pregnant today and the baby will be in my bedroom for probably the first year or so, but I was in no way, shape, or form ready yet, so I wanted to clean up my bedroom, change my sheets. Just clean this space up and then really start setting up for the baby. This was also important to me because I have my babies at home and being that I am 38 weeks, this baby could come at any time. I will most likely be laboring and birthing in my bedroom and my bathroom and these spaces are essential to be clean and clutter free for when that time comes. I cannot imagine trying to have a calm, relaxed, relaxing labor and birthing experience in a cluttered room. That sounds horrible, so this needed to get done and I feel so much better now that it is. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is just picking everything up, then I will move on to changing my bed sheets. I had to leave this next part in here because it, conversations with my two-year-old Wyatt are just adorable. Even lions can spin. Even lions can spin. Like Whoa! Even lions. You are the cutest. What are you doing? I'm making my bed, cleaning my room. I mean, we got a new hat. You do. Yeah. It, me, me, me go get me a new hat. You, you went to the store and bought a new hat? Yeah. All by yourself? Yeah, and the tape in that paper. What store did you go to? Uh, in... Oh, to the outside. 
You went to the outside store? Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. And I went to the outside house. You just drove home all by yourself? Yeah, I and me to a baby all day my dad. Are you serious? Yeah. That's crazy. Can I kiss you? I could not even handle the cuteness, but we are going to continue to make my bed. I did throw my quilt in the washer, so we will put that back on a little bit later once it's dry. Once I was done vacuuming in this room, I realized the floors on my main floor really needed to be cleaned, but I had other things I needed to focus on in this room and no time to clean downstairs. So I thought it was the perfect time to start my Eufy X10 Pro Omni so it can vacuum and mop on the main floor while I focus on cleaning the second floor. This robot vacuum is truly hands-free. It can completely look after itself with self-washing mops, self-drying mops, a self emptying dustbin and self refilling so the robot can refill its water tank with fresh water to ensure the mop pads are always wet for better mopping. All I have to do is fill up the clean water tank about once a week. It holds three liters and that is about how long it lasts for me and then of course emptying the dirty water regularly. The X10 Pro Omni has 8,000 PA suction power which is their strongest suction ever. It cleans deep down in carpets and filters dust, bacteria, and pollen without emitting them back into the air, which helps maintain fresh indoor air and prevents allergies. You can see here the robot senses when switching from carpet to hard floors and adjust the mop heads up or down. This prevents your carpet from being mopped. It also uses something called AIC, which means it is able to recognize and react to obstacles. As you see here, it recognized the shoe and the cord from the pencil sharpener and avoided it completely. So technically there's a really no no need to tidy before using your robot vacuum. I do want to mention because this uses AI, Eufy will always protect users privacy. The RGB camera will not upload your privacy information and it has obtained a privacy and security certification. The MopMaster technology in the robot uses two high-speed rotary mops that scrub under pressure to clean stubborn dirt. For example, getting rid of stains that have been there for 48 hours like dried on ketchup or dried coffee, this robot will 
will have no problem getting that up. You can see here how well the mop did on our floors. I also don't have to worry about the vacuum getting tangled. It has automatic detangling, so there's no need to detangle the hair by hand anymore. Make sure you check out the Eufy X10 Pro Omni using the link in the description below. So while my floors are being vacuumed and mopped downstairs, we're gonna start moving some baby stuff around, go through a couple things, rearrange my room a little bit, just really try and get as much done as we can and get as ready as we can for this baby. So the room is pretty much clean. I had Rob bring up some baby stuff from our basement. I spent about two hours down there going through everything because we have a mountain of clothes. I thought I did a good job decluttering and organizing when I went through our attic in our old house. I was wrong. I did not do the best job. I should have labeled things. I didn't know where anything was. Nothing was organized into different sizes, so I spent a long time in the basement trying to get everything organized into just a couple of containers that I could go through. And this is what I ended up with. I do know that we are missing a few things that I just don't know where they are. One being a baby bouncer, my breast pump. I can't find just a couple of baby essentials. So unfortunately, I did have to buy a couple things and I'm sure they will show up at a later date when I don't need them anymore. But luckily, I was able to find most things. While I was washing my bedding, I also decided to wash my pregnancy pillow cover because I just thought it was time when I'm done putting this back on. My quilt was done drying, so we'll put that on the bed. Then we will start going through the containers that are behind me with all of the baby stuff in there. My plan was to kind of sift through things, making sure I have everything that I need, kind of put it in different categories, declutter if I need to. Then I will be washing all of the baby clothes, blankets, swaddles, or anything else that needs to be washed. Once everything is cleaned, I'll be folding it and giving it a home, putting everything away where it needs to be put away, putting the crib sheet on, putting the cover on the snuggle me, and really just getting one step closer to being ready for this baby. There are still so many things that need to be done, but at least at this point, if baby decided to come at any moment, I wouldn't feel panicked and I would at least feel a little bit more prepared. I am still waiting for the glide to get here. I just ordered it. I actually did a poll on Instagram. I was between three different gliders and I am very, very happy with the one I chose. Thank you to everybody who voted in that poll to kind of sway my decision. The other two compared to this one were more like stylish. I think the one I ordered will be the most practical and most comfortable. As you can see, as I go through the containers, I'm going to show you just a few things periodically. Maybe it's something I really like, like this Snuggle Me, which I would definitely consider a baby essential. I loved my Snuggle Me Organic with Wyatt. We used it so frequently. And I know I will use it a ton with this baby as well. I loved these muslin swaddles. They are so comfortable and cute. Definitely another baby essential. I'll show you some outfits here and there, just ones that really stuck out to me, ones that I think are extra cute. There are a couple in here that I've had since Noah was a newborn and I just think that is the cutest thing in the world to be able to pass a couple outfits down from 
all of my kids. I just think that is adorable. There's one outfit specifically in here. It's white with a couple animals on it. It is actually the outfit I brought Noah home from the hospital in. I am so surprised it hasn't been ruined over the years, but it is an outfit that each of my kids have worn as a newborn, and it is an outfit that I will just keep forever knowing that. I'm so happy it's stayed nice all of this time. Here are a couple other newborn essentials in my opinion, my ring sling and my ergo baby carrier. I love these two equally. They both have been used so, so much with each of my kids. the tiniest little baby sock. Every time I've had a newborn, besides with my first, so my second and third, I've always been so shocked how small newborns are again because your baby seems so small still. So for example, Wyatt is two and a half. He still seems so small to me. He is my baby. But I know that when this baby comes, he is going to seem so big and this baby is going to seem so small. It's always a little bit of an emotional moment to me because Wyatt, like I said, is still my baby and he will always be my baby. That's how I feel right now. And in that moment, realizing how big they are compared to how small they were when they were a newborn is just a very emotional thing as a mom, in my opinion. On another note, the storage container I'm going through right now unexpectedly had different sizes of clothes, boy clothes, girl clothes, tank tops, sandals. It's just had a bunch of random stuff in it that I was not expecting to find, even a hospital hat. Like, I don't even know where that came from, so a lot of the stuff I'm pulling out of this bin will go right back in it and then go down to the basement. Some of the stuff, however, was conveniently size 3T boys, which Wyatt is wearing right now, so I will wash those things and go ahead and put those in his closet. Thank <laughs> you.
After going through everything, I cleaned up my mess for the most part. I have some clothes in the washer and in the dryer, but of course, as a mom, I always have laundry. So before I was able to put baby clothes in there, I had to dry what was in the washer and fold what was in the dryer. So I have a load of towels that was dried and then a load of random clothes that were also washed. We're gonna get those folded and put away, then pull out all of the washed baby items from the dryer and get all of those folded and put away as well. I thought this was so funny and cute. Wyatt grabbed one of the microfiber towels and went up to the camera to show everyone how he folds them. But of course my kids are siblings, so sometimes little arguments happen, which is totally normal because right after that, Hazel wanted to get in the frame and Wyatt was in the way and then Hazel folded the orange towel and Wyatt loves the color orange, so he had an issue with that. So I gave him the orange one, then Hazel wanted a pink one and we just ended up taking a small break. <laughs> I do feel so thankful though because whenever I'm doing any chores around the house, my kids always want to jump in and help and I just love that. But Hazel was so funny here. She carried some clothes, Noah's clothes and her clothes into their rooms. And when she came back in the door, she fell on the floor and said she was so exhausted from that. I can definitely relate because I am exhausted too, girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. 
Normally I would cut this part out, but here is me contemplating how I am going to get up. Every time I sit down, it is a struggle right now to get back up. I would definitely rather be sitting than standing, but once I'm down, I might as well just like crawl around on the ground and not get back up because I'm pretty much stuck. I'm so big and moving in general is just a struggle. Usually when I get to this point in pregnancy, I'm pretty much done. I really really would like my body back. I know so many women love being pregnant and I do too for the most part, but I would say in the beginning when I'm really, really sick with morning sickness and at the end from right about now until let's say I go to 42 weeks like I did with the boys, I just want my body back to myself and I feel so much better once the baby is born. I feel so much more energy. I just feel like myself again and I very much look forward to feeling physically like myself again I'm so proud of my body for growing these babies but towards the end like I said I just am done I know so many women who miss the bump they miss being pregnant and I cannot relate to that anyone else all of our babies were planned and I love what comes out of being pregnant but the process of actually sharing my body and being pregnant pregnant is not my favorite thing in the world. I don't even care if I get back to my pre-pregnancy weight or body for a long time. My body does not bother me even when it's a little bit squishy when I'm postpartum. All of that is fine but to be able to move around and sleep comfortably and not be winded and have more energy all of that just sounds amazing to me. I want to put a little disclaimer in here because I feel like it's necessary. I know so many women and couples who deal with infertility and I don't want to be insensitive to how you're feeling or what you've dealt with or are currently dealing with. I know you would do absolutely anything to go through what I am going through right now and I completely understand that. These are just my feelings and like I said I don't want to be insensitive to anything that you are personally going through. Anyway as you can see Hazel and Wyatt are helping me sort back through these baby clothes. I decided to only keep out newborn clothes at this time. So I'm sorting out the three to six month clothes that I had originally gotten out. I will put those back in a storage container. Luckily, I know where they are and which container they will be in, but I decided to do this so my closet isn't crowded. This way, once the baby is out of newborn clothes, I can simply take all of the newborn clothes out of my closet and replace them with the ones in this storage container. I only got a couple new outfits or gowns for this baby, but they are definitely my favorite out of all of the clothes. It's funny how your style changes over the years, but I clearly prefer a more neutral, like mauve or pink or anything that's girly, but also, like I said, neutral.
Something many have said over the last couple of months I just wanted to comment on. I've gotten a lot of messages and comments saying how excited you are for me to decorate a nursery and what the nursery will look like. And clearly from this video, we will not be having your typical nursery. I had one for each of my kids so far. And from my personal experience, a nursery is a wasted space. I co-sleep with my kids and I always have have for about the first year. So walking back and forth to a room with a rocking chair only to use that rocking chair is extremely inconvenient. And even to just get the baby dressed in the baby's room, like they were used for only a couple purposes that there's just no reason to have a whole room dedicated to a newborn. Like I said, in my personal opinion, my personal experience, this is what works best for my family. So I'm so sorry if this lets anybody down, but this is what we will be doing for this baby. The nursery will be in my bedroom. The last thing I'm doing in here today is putting the cover on the changing pad, which honestly, I don't even know if we will be using. I don't have a changing table, so I'm not really quite sure what to do about this yet. I might just get a cheap Ikea changing table. We only use them for a short time before we start laying them on the ground or on the snuggle me or on the couch or the bed. Typically things stay pretty clean and we do have little waterproof pads that we've put under our kids when they were really young if we do change them somewhere other than a changing table. But anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be using this changing pad. I'm going to put the cover on the Snuggle Me Organic and a sheet on the crib mattress and wrap it up in here. I want to thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. It means so much to me, so thank you. I hope you have an amazing day and amazing rest of your week. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again and I will see you in the next one.